Good morning, guys. I thought I'd hop on really quick, show my face. I just got ready for the day. Kind of give you guys an update of what's been going on with the dogs. A lot of you have been asking for updates on the dogs. So today, it's Sunday that I'm filming this video, and today is actually my first day by myself with Palmer. Tori actually went back to work this morning. So we are trying to establish a new routine. What's been happening is we get up in the morning, I take the dogs out. I generally get up much, much earlier than Troy. So I get up, I take the dogs out, and then he's been going back to bed with Palmer. And then they've been sleeping an additional like three or four hours every morning. Well, I can't go back to bed because I actually have a coaching call this morning and I have another call this afternoon. So I have to get up, get ready, kind of get my day started. So what I did this morning and so far so good is I put him in his crate on the bed with Diesel and Lola so that he can see out the window, see the other dogs. I covered his crate with a blanket to keep it a little more dark and I'm hoping and hoping that he sleeps for just a few more hours, preferably through my coaching call this morning, but at least for a couple more hours. So that's what I'm hoping to develop as our new routine. But other than that, he's very routine oriented. Things are going really well. He takes naps in his crate during the day. No problem at all. It's just getting this routine established with Troy not being here and me having to take care of the three dogs and still do work and have calls. So we'll see, cross your fingers for us, but so far it's been going good this morning and I'll keep you guys updated throughout the day, kind of how this first day transitioning goes. Now, quick diesel update. A lot of you have been asking about his torn ACL. He goes to see the surgeon on June 10th. They're going to do x-rays, determine the extent of the tear and what our next steps are. So in the meantime, we've just been being really careful with him, making sure that he's not jumping and running, helping him up onto the bed just to prevent it if it isn't torn completely from tearing completely. And then he won't be able to put any weight or anything on the leg and it's just a more extensive surgery and recovery. So we're kind of babying him a little more than normal right now just to make sure that it doesn't tear completely. Lola is Lola, she's doing great. She has this habit now where she's rolling in the dirt outside, so she's just dirty, we call her a dirt dog. But things here are chaotic, but they're really, really good with the dogs. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated on Diesel as well. So I am going to start my day. I had my coffee this morning. I'll go ahead and put a picture here of my coffee. I count one point for my coffee. I'll have breakfast here in a little bit. And then I do have a coaching call this morning. So I'm hoping to get some more footage of the dogs playing and things once they get up this morning. breakfast for this morning. We're keeping it simple this morning. I have two of my copycat Starbucks egg bites that I prepped in meal prep. If you haven't seen Monday's meal prep, check it out. You can see how to recreate those really expensive but delicious egg bites from Starbucks at home. And then I'm just having some blueberries, working on my gallon of water. Everyone in the Clayton house just woke up from a little nap this morning. They all slept a couple of hours. We had friends over last night, so I think they're all just super tired from that. So we just came outside. It is an incredibly gorgeous day, huh, buddy? See, it's so nice out today. Yeah, it's so nice out. Hey, you need to go potty. You need to go potty, buddy. So yeah, we're all gonna hang out outside here for just a little bit. You guys know how much I love candles. I'm a Bath and Body Works candle fanatic. I discovered this candle subscription service. It's not just candles, it's wax melts, it's car air fresheners. They have so many amazing things. It is called Wicked Bayou Candles. I am going to open this for the first time with you guys. I did crack it open just so I wouldn't have to do that on camera, but let's look inside and see what came. This is the first month that I've ordered this candle subscription. I'll make sure that I link it down below for you. I'm pretty sure it's about 15 
dollars a month. So here's what it looks like when you open it up. You get a card. This is so cute. Wicked Bayou Candles. And on the back, it tells us what we received, but I don't want to know until I actually break into it. We also got one of their little cards and it's sealed with a thank you. How cute is that? Ooh, look at all this good stuff. So first thing in my box is leather and lace. And this looks like it is a car freshener. So it's like this melted bead texture. It's a sunflower. It's so pretty. So here's what it looks like. Ooh, it smells so good. I smell leather and floral. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm actually going to go hang this in my car as soon as I am done unboxing this. It looks like we also have some wax melt. I love wax melt. We have them burning constantly in our house. These are white, they're really pretty. They are in a flower shape. And these are the Magnolia scented paraffin wax hand poured in Texas wax melts. So again, here's what they look like. Ooh, very florally Magnolia, but it's fresh. It's kind of a fresh, like summery scent. So you received four of these wax melts and these are big, so they should last several days. Looks like some more wax melts. How cute are these? These are in shapes of grapes. These are big. You could actually break these in half. And these are the Boots and Blue Bonnet wax melts. So here's the size of them. Ooh, oh, those smell really good. I smell like a berry, but also florally. And again, these are huge. You could literally break these in half. One half of these would give you several days of smell. And lastly, we actually have a candle. So this is an eight ounce hand poured candle of honeysuckle jasmine. So here's what it looks like. It's a good size candle. This is about the size that you can buy at Trader Joe's. Oh, oh, it's so yummy. It is honeysuckle to the core. I don't really smell a lot of jasmine. It's just that really sweet floral from the honeysuckle. Oh, so excited to burn this. So that's everything that came in my May box. I feel like this is a really good deal for all of these products. I would love to get a car air freshener every month. I also know that you always receive an eight ounce candle, which is great. Those can be upwards of $10 by themselves. So again, I'll link this down below if you're interested in signing up for the subscription, but I'm really happy to have this candle subscription in my life. I'm going to have a morning snack. It's about 10.15. I didn't think I would have a morning snack and just wait for lunch, but I am feeling a little bit hungry. So I'm going to have one of my Verb Energy Bars. I need all the energy I can get today since I have Palmer all day for the first time. So I'm actually going to have one of these. I love these because each one of these bars, here's the size of the bar. I'm going to actually have the double chocolate flavor. Each one of these bars has 65 milligrams of caffeine, which is like a shot of espresso. So it gives you that nice little boost of energy. They're only 90 calories, three points. They are delicious. A lot of you have ordered them and said how much you love them. I'm obsessed. I think I have four bags in my pantry. That's how much I love them. So I'm going to have the double chocolate. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I open it up for three points. And then I'm going to have a bottle of kombucha. WW counts this as three points. I count this as one point. It's only 50 calories. It has no added sugar. It's really good for you, full of probiotics. So the kombucha and the Verb Energy Bar is my four smart point snack. I will go ahead and link Verb down below for you. They're always running huge promotions on their starter packs. This is a starter pack. And you can usually get this for $9 to about $12. And there's 12 bars in there. So I'll link it down below, whatever special is currently going on. But that's my snack. So here's the size of the bar. I mean, they're really good size. They're just soft and chewy. I love the double chocolate. I love all the flavors. I will put down in the description box my top few flavors if you're interested in knowing what I like so you can customize your little starter pack. Look how the little turd is sleeping. He has been sleeping outside for a couple of hours. I don't know how this is comfortable. He's a frog dog hanging off of his dog bed. So here's my lunch for today. It's a little after 12. This is a Mexican rice that we made for dinner the other night. So good. But what I did is just took one serving of the leftover rice. I had a little bit of avocado left over from our barbecue last night. So I mashed it up with a little salt, made some guac. I also have some of the Daisy Light Sour Cream. And this is my lunch. So it is six points for the rice mixture two points for the avocado and one point for the sour cream. So this is going to be a total of nine smart points. And then I have water. I'm doing really well on my gallon of water so far today. 
I'm also having Topo Chico. I shared this in my grocery haul. You guys, I'm obsessed with these sparkling waters. This is the Twist of Lime. They come in a really nice glass bottle, recyclable bottle if you do recycle. I'm loving these. I know for sure, at least in my area, they're sold at Walmart and Target. So get your hands on them. They are a little bit expensive. It's about $4 or so for a four pack. So a little over a dollar a piece. Delicious. I'm doing this sneakily. Can you see this? Palmer is sleeping on the dog bed. Lola is over here by the dog door and Diesel is way out there. Like I said, he loves the shade from that tree. These three dogs have literally been sleeping the entire day. I think the barbecue and all the excitement last night completely wore them out. I'm about to get on my Zoom call with my challenge group and I'm not very hungry. That lunch really filled me up. So I'm going to have a pack of my Quest tortilla chips and loaded taco. You guys know these are my favorite favorite flavor. I buy mine off of Nutrition. Nutrition is the same website. I buy Fiber Gourmet and Sucrin Gold. A lot of you ask me what to order off of Nutrition. So I'll leave Nutrition down below. I also did an entire, actually I've done two videos on the things that I like to order from that website. So I will put those two videos down below for you as well. But this is my afternoon snack. For tonight's dinner, I am making Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes. We are excited about this. Troy was pretty excited when I told him that this is what we are having for dinner. So for the recipe, you're going to need a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef, some A1 steak sauce, any type of steak seasoning. We love this Kinder's The Blend from Costco. It's salt, pepper, garlic, so good on everything. Cornstarch, beef broth, green pepper, onion and then we are using these Walmart three point buns and then for cheese I'm going to do the thin cheese and Troy's going to do provolone cheese when I figured the points for the recipe I did not include the bun or cheese because I don't know what bun or cheese you're going to choose so I am going to give you the points and calories for just the actual sloppy joe portion the first thing I'm going to do is chop up my onion into very fine slices and then chop and dice up my bell pepper In my skillet, I have a pretty good sized skillet. I would say a rather large one. I have my one pound of 96% extra lean ground beef as well as my onion and my bell pepper. I'm going to cook these up together until the veggies are softened. And then if there's any grease remaining, you'll want to drain out the grease. I'm also going to cook up a bag of this organic broccoli florets from Great Value. I feel like we need some extra veggies in our life for dinner. Once your onions and bell peppers are nice and soft, this is smelling so delicious, I am going to sprinkle in a tablespoon of cornstarch. Stir that to make sure all that meat mixture gets coated in the cornstarch. Once coated, add your one cup of beef broth and one quarter cup of A1 and your favorite steak seasoning. We're going to stir this together and allow it to come to a boil. Once it's come to a boil, allow it to simmer on medium heat for about 10 minutes. Once you remove it from the heat, the sauce will thicken up. And in the meantime, I'm going to get my broccoli into the microwave. You can set your oven at broil and pop your buns in there to get them nice and crispy if you would like as well. So here's what our Philly cheese steak sloppy joe mix looks like. When you remove it and add it to your bun, make sure you use a slotted spoon. You don't want too much liquid because it'll just make your bun soggy, but I'm going to put together my dinner. My broccoli is just about done and I'll be back to share points and calories. All right, here is dinner. Doesn't this look amazing? So I have one sixth of the sloppy joe mix. That is two points just for the mix. And like I said, whatever bun you choose or cheese you choose, you'll add those points. So I have one of the three Smart Point Walmart buns and one slice of the extra thin cheese for one point. So my Sloppy Joe is only six points. And then I have some broccoli here for zero. So this is dinner. It looks absolutely incredible. 4.20 p.m. and my gallon of water is done. For dessert tonight, I'm having one of my Charlie in the Peanut Butter Factory Little Poppers. I love these. My favorites are these cookie popper tops. They come in cookie Samoa, brownie cookie, red velvet cake, and birthday cake. These full-size poppers range from four to five smart points. You can see that I've been loving these. These are also full-size poppers. These range as well from four to five points, and they are power poppers, smooth poppers, and almond butter poppers. 
Here's what these look like. I think tonight I'm going to have the Cookie Thin Mint. So here's the size of them. They're in a large condiment container. They are the perfect snack or sweet treat. They're pre-portioned out. They're delicious. They're packed full of protein and healthy fats. They come in a ton of amazing, delicious flavors. And then they also have their deluxe mini sampler pack, cookie flavors, smooth flavors, and then seasonal flavors. Here's what these look like. So these are smaller than the full size. I would say that the base is about the size of a quarter and the top about the size of a half dollar. But these are only one point piece and 40 calories. So if you don't have a lot of points or calories left, but you want a sweet treat, I like to use these pre-workout as well. They're perfect to just pop and go before a workout. So let me show you again the size difference here. So these are the full size, four to five points, 170 calories. These are the minis, 1.40 calories. Just flip those over and there is your size difference. So you can eat these right out of the freezer. That's what I'm going to do for dessert with the cookie thin mint, or you can let them thaw a little bit, eat them with a spoon. You can also pop these into a smoothie or a protein shake for a little bit of healthy fat and some extra flavor. Again, I love the cookie ones. Actually, I love all of them. There has not been a flavor that I've tried that I haven't loved. I do have 25% off courtesy of Charlie and the Peanut Butter Factory for you guys using a special link down in the description box. So check it out, get your hands on them, obsessed. So here is what they look like out of the container. They are huge, well worth the points. And I feel really good that I'm having a healthy snack with protein, healthy fats. Mm. So good. You can see that mint cookie in the middle. This is one of the cookie toppers. Seriously, you guys, you have to get these. They are incredible.